In the previous section of the course, we automated repetitive tasks by using macros. In this section, we are going to work with other Microsoft Office programs. In this first segment, we are going to include Office documents in workbooks. For this exercise, you will need two files, the Summary Presentation Underscore Start Excel Workbook and the 2010 Yearly Revenue Summary Underscore Start PowerPoint Presentation, which are located in your Practice File folder. I've already opened both of those files and saved Summary Presentation Underscore Start as Summary Presentation. I've also saved the 2010 Yearly Summary Revenue Underscore Start Presentation as 2010 Yearly Revenue Summary. After I saved the PowerPoint presentation, I closed PowerPoint. With those preparations in mind, we can begin. In the Summary Preparation Workbook, on the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Text Group, click Object. Doing so causes Excel to display the Object dialog box. Click the Create from File tab, and then click the Browse button on the Create from File page. In the Object dialog box, browse to the 2010 Yearly Revenue Summary PowerPoint presentation, and click it, and then click Insert. When you do, the full path of the file appears in the file name box. Select the Link to File box so that a check appears, and then click OK. Excel creates a link from your workbook to the presentation. Right-click the presentation, point to Presentation Object, and then click Edit. When you do, the presentation appears in a PowerPoint 2010 window. Click Consolidated Messenger FY 2010, which opens that text box for editing. And then in place of FY 2010, type Calendar Year 2010. In PowerPoint, on the Quick Access Toolbar, Click the Save button to save the presentation. Then press Alt-Tab to move back to your Excel workbook. And click Save. You'll notice that Excel has updated what was previously FY 2010 to the text Calendar Year 2010. In this segment, we included Office documents in workbooks. In the next segment, we are going to store workbooks as part of other Office documents. In the previous segment, we included Office documents in workbooks. In this segment, we are going to store workbooks as part of other Office documents. For this exercise, we are going to use two files a PowerPoint presentation called 2010 Yearly Revenue Summary Underscore Start and a workbook called Revenue by Service Level Underscore Start. I've already opened those two files and saved the presentation as 2010 Yearly Revenue Summary and the workbook as Revenue by Service Level. To begin, you should display the PowerPoint presentation. In the Slides panel of the Presentation window, click the second slide. The second slide with the title Revenue by Category appears. Then on the Insert tab of the ribbon, in the Text group, click Object. The Insert Object dialog box appears. Select the Create from File option button, and then click Browse. Navigate to the folder that contains the Revenue by Service Level workbook and double-click that file. The file appears in the file box. Click OK and the workbook appears as part of your presentation. In this segment, we stored a workbook as part of another Office document. 
In the next segment, we are going to create hyperlinks. In the previous segment of the course, we stored workbooks as parts of other Office documents. In this segment, we are going to create hyperlinks. For this exercise, we are going to use two practice files, and those are hyperlink underscore start and level descriptions underscore start. I have already opened those workbooks and saved them under the names of hyperlink and level descriptions, respectively. To begin, in the hyperlink workbook, on the revenue by level worksheet, if necessary, click cell B9 to activate it. Then, on the Insert tab, in the Links group, click the Hyperlink button. Doing so displays the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. If necessary, click the Existing File or Web Page button. And then, using the controls in the Look In area of the dialog box, Navigate to the folder that contains your practice files. In the file list, click the Level Descriptions Workbook, and then, in the Text to Display box, modify the text so that it reads Level Descriptions. And then click OK. The hyperlink you just created appears in cell B9. Now click the hyperlink in cell B9. When you do, the Level Descriptions Workbook appears. In the Level Descriptions Workbook, click the File tab and then click Close. This closes the workbook. Now right-click cell B11 and then from the shortcut menu that appears, click Hyperlink. Doing so causes the Insert Hyperlink dialog box to appear. In the Link to pane, click Place in this document. The document elements to which you can link appear in the dialog box. In the Or Select a Place in this document pane, click Notes and click OK. Excel creates the hyperlink. Now right click cell B11 and then click Edit Hyperlink. Edit the text to display box's value so it reads Revenue Notes. When you're done, click OK. The Edit Hyperlink dialog box closes and the text in cell B11 changes to Revenue Notes. Now on the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button to save your work. In this segment, we created hyperlinks. In the next segment, we will paste charts into other Office documents. In the previous segment, we created hyperlinks. In this segment, we are going to paste charts into other documents. This segment is the last segment of Section 13. For this exercise, we are going to use one Excel workbook and one PowerPoint presentation. The workbook is named Revenue Chart Underscore Start, and the presentation is named Revenue Summary Underscore Start. I've already opened those two files and saved them as Revenue Chart and Revenue Summary, respectively. In the Revenue Chart Workbook, right-click the chart and then click Copy. When we do, Excel copies the chart to the clipboard. Now display the Revenue Summary presentation, which contains a single blank slide. Right-click a blank spot on the visible slide and then in the Paste Options area of the shortcut menu, click the Picture icon. The chart appears as a static image. 
Now to change the chart from a static image to a live link to the existing workbook, click the Paste Options button, and then in the Paste Options group, click the Use Destination Theme and Link Data option. It is the middle of the five options. When we do, Excel changes the type of link between this chart and the workbook containing the original chart. In this segment, we pasted charts into other documents. This is the last segment of Section 13, working with other Microsoft Office programs. In the next section of the course, we are going to collaborate with colleagues.